The following video showcases the views and opinions of young adults from the age group of 9 to 18 years. This is an attempt to get students to speak about issues that are close to their heart. Watch and get a glimpse of what the future of India is thinking and where is India's youth headed. Viewers are requested to consider the student's age before judging and voting. Hello everyone. Once when I was 7 years old, my mom was making some PCP and DT entries. Just out of curiosity, I asked her what it was and she explained me the whole stuff. Here I am, introduced to an evil of this planet. Yes, you guessed it right. My topic is female feticide. Daughters are angelic souls with fragrance of innocence in their eyes. But are all daughters in the world treated as angelic souls? The answer is a big no. A common incident witnessed in every pregnant woman's family is that her in-laws and husband tell her that Ladki hai to gira do. Are, who are you? Are you God or Alexander the Great? You are not doing a favor by creating a fetus for the world. God has not given you the right to give life to someone. Then who in the hell has given you the right to take someone's life? Yes. Exactly this is female feticide, abortion of female fetus by illegal methods or in simple words when cruel people close the eyes of the daughters forever before they could even open them for once. If we look out for the reasons for female feticide, there are many reasons like fear of dowry, obsession for son, uh, weak social security for girls and one of the main reason is sons are believed to carry on the lineage of the family. but. But all the sons, do not forget, men are, we want men to carry forward the generation, but men come from mothers and mothers were once daughters. Cultures and societies may say that males are preferred or sons are preferred, but no culture or society can say that females are inferior. And how can they even say if they worship a goddess who is a female, if the society worships a Bharat Mata and not a Bharat Pita? If you feel females are inferior, why don't you worship a Bharat Pita? Uh, well, female is an iron man. Female can be split into phi and male. F phi is iron and male is man. Therefore, female is the ironic form of man. According to the estimates, female feticide in India is increased by 49.2% today and the sex ratio is 927 by 1000 men on an average. This is a matter of concern. Well, uh, the United Nations has declared India to be the deadliest country for female children. So, proud Indians, are you still proud? Uh, let's make an effort to prove the United Nations wrong, but it is also true that China and Pakistan have witnessed the most heinous practices to kill girl children. The need of the hour is to eradicate this evil from the world forever. The effort is not very difficult, but we just have to educate the woman and create awareness that the sex of the baby is not in the hands of the woman and she is not to be blamed. Of course, government has taken a lot of efforts and launched the PCPNDT Act in 2003. Oh sorry, I forgot to tell you what is PCPNDT. It is Preconceptional Prenatal Diagnostic Techniques Act and according to it, the doctor practicing female feticide is to be arrested and jailed for 10 years with a huge fine. Our Prime Minister, our respected Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched the Beti Bachao Beti Pada program in 2015 which is a great success. The need of the hour is just that the society should cooperate with all these programs and change their thoughts. Last but not the least, I would like to conclude that a girl is a mother, a daughter, a wife, a sister and many others. So when you kill one girl, you kill many others. So save girl child, save the future of this planet. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.